Welcome to this training video for the P-Series 10 gallon per minute pump rebuild. The tools you will need for the rebuild process are a rebuild kit, Phillips screwdriver, a half inch wrench, a six inch piece of half inch wood dowel, and a strap wrench. Begin using the Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws that retain the intake screen. You will now remove the four half inch nuts that separate the liquid end from the motor. Once separate, place the discharge end into the vise and secure it. Be careful not to over tighten. You'll need to slide the rubber protector around the discharge connection and secure it with a rubber band. Using the strap wrench, loosen the discharge end. These are left hand threads. Once loosened, remove from the vise and continue in removing the discharge end. Once the discharge end has been removed, you will now remove the top bearing using the wood dowel. Placing the dowel on the top bearing, tap until the bearing comes loose. You will now need to remove the old stack. Take the replacement stack out of the box. Install the new top bearing into the discharge end, making sure that it is flush. Now install the new stack, taking care that the bottom suction cap is included. Replace the discharge end onto the discharge connection. Remember, these are left hand threads. Be careful not to cross thread the discharge in the shell. Tighten the four half inch nuts to secure the liquid end to the motor.
replace and secure the intake screen. You have now successfully rebuilt your P-Series 10 gallon per minute pump. Do you know what caused the problem initially? Do you know how to prevent the problem in the future? If you would like a more in-depth training on pumps and troubleshooting, please contact our training department at 1-800-718-4023.